This original WSRE presentation is made possible by viewers like you. Thank you. From deeply moving spirituals to contemporary artful secular songs, we present the glorious voices of the Spelman Glee Club right now on Aware. You've been listening to the extraordinary voices of the Spelman College Glee Club all the way from Atlanta, Georgia. This critically acclaimed women's choral ensemble performing nationally and internationally now for over 75 years has proudly passed down through the generations a rich legacy of storytelling through a tradition of choral excellence, as you've already heard. Our guests in our studio today include Dr. Kevin Johnson, the director of the Spelman Glee Club. To his immediate right, we have Nina Danley, Soprano One. <laughs> All right, and coming over here to my left is Rajene Brown, Alto Two. And last but certainly not least, Courtney Jones, Soprano Two. I'll tell you what all that means if you don't know in just a moment, but for right now, I'm Dee Dee Sharp. This is AWARE, and we're proud to present the Spelman College Glee Club steeped in a Christian humble beginning to make sure women of color receive a culturally fulfilled higher education. This historical black college boasts such notable alumni as, get this, Pulitzer Prize winner Alice Walker, author of The Color Purple, Pearl Klieg, author and playwright, actress Esther Roll, known as Florida Evans from the 1970s sitcom Good Times, I know you remember her, Keisha Knight Pullman, also known as Rudy from The Cosby Show, and even former Atlanta Mayor Shirley Franklin, just to name a few of its graduates. On this AWARE show, we present special performances by the Spelman College Glee Club. We'll have more from them in just a moment, but first, let's talk to our guests in the studio about the HBCU's Glee Club past, present, and future. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the AWARE Show. We are so delighted to have you here. Thank you for Thank having you. us. Thank you. Thank you for and, having us. And we can't get things started without starting with the man. <laughs> How about that? The conductor of all of this uh, a beautiful angelic sound coming from uh, the Spellman Glee Club. Thank you once for, again for being here, Dr. Johnson. You're welcome. Tell us a little bit about the history because we've got to start there and we're going to march our way forward to where we're Well, we began in 1925. Spelman and Morehouse College began together uh, as a singing group. We used to concertize together um, under the baton of Kemper Herald. Um, had few directors in our time. Willis Lawrence, Mr. Willis Lawrence James. Uh, let's see, who are the other ones, ladies? <laughs> Dr. Roland Allison. Yes. Dr. Roland Allison directed the Glee Club for over 30 years. And recently, before me? I'm drawing a blank. They didn't know they were going to. Oh, oh, yes. They didn't know they were going to have a test. I know. On the right. <laughs> Always yes. keeping yes. you on point. We'll have to let the historian know that you all know her name is Norma <laughs> Rayburn. Rayburn. Yes, yes. 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 directed the Glee Club for 10 years. Okay. I'm in my 17th year. Wow. I'm actually on sabbatical right now, um, away from Spelman. Mm -hmm. You can't tell that, can you? <laughs> no, I can't. As I sit here. Not with the colors Right, with my Spelman blue on. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yes, it's been 17 great years. Mm -hmm. I have two children who went through Spelman. Very good. And uh, yeah, the Glee Club has a strong history. We've, we've sung 
uh, nationally and internationally. I took the Glee Club to Italy. Uh, our, my international sp experience with them. But uh, we've sung with many orchestras and the like, especially the Atlanta Symphony. We did our final concert uh, before. We would always do an annual concert for Martin Luther King Day. Um, and our last concert with the Atlanta Symphony, um, before Coretta Scott King passed, mm -hmm. we were fortunate enough to perform with the Atlanta Symphony and Yo-Yo Ma, the great cellist. And uh -huh. we sang a Moses Hogan spiritual that day that just rocked the house. Wow. <laughs> but yes, as I could say, I could talk all day about the, the way I feel about the importance of what we do mm -hmm. for the history uh, of African Americans and mm -hmm. our nation, you know. I, I, they can tell you the many speeches they've heard <laughs> me give <laughs> about uh, why we don't just sing, but what we represent. Uh, we've been doing it for the college, uh, for black folks for a long time. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the history, strong history in Atlanta, civil rights, we've been actively participating. We've had people marching with King, um, a founder of Sweet Honey in the Rock. Bernice Johnson Reagan was in the Glee Club. Uh, so, you know, we could, the names continue and the names you've never heard. Rajane sings a song that we, our, mm -hmm. our current song that we sing at the end of every concert, which is entitled A Choice to Change the World. And one of the, the part of the text is, um, the shoulders we stand on never re received, you know, applause mm -hmm. and fame, but in their honor, they'll, we all will live each day better than before. So we, we clearly are an institution who appreciates, understands what we represent, what we stand for. So we're just glad to be here in our s dear Courtney City <laughs> uh, on our tour, our 2016 tour. And uh, yeah, I could, I'll stop talking because I could talk all day. And, I, and, I, and I'm glad because the more you talk, the less I have to. And my voice hasn't been the greatest, okay. which I teased about that starting before we even started taping here about my singing abilities and, and your ear and your knack for what you do. And, and I was telling you, I can't sing at all. If I could sing, I probably would have sung my way out of a lot of spankings when I was a little girl, because <laughs> I would have just started singing. But I can't sing has not had anything to do with the fact that I've lost my voice um, being under the weather. But what do you tell someone when, when they think they can't sing? How when did, do, you, how do you, when did you find out you couldn't sing? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to put it another way. When was that you tried to sing <laughs> and couldn't and couldn't? But that's funny. Oh you my. mentioned, you know, when you were a kid, yes. cried, you could have sung yourself out of some trouble. Yes. Uh, I, I have a son now who's 10 months, and he <laughs> was with me at the uh -huh. Color Purple performance uh -huh. at my son's high school. Wow. And every time the soloists began, you know, it was all, every song actually, but I, I am telling you, my son was, <laughs> ah! <laughs> every song, he just broke yeah. out singing, oh you know, and goodness. at the end of the performance, he was laid out, <laughs> dead, dead sleep in my lap, and people were coming by, yeah. he's such a great singer. <laughs> I was thinking, okay. He got it from his dad. Right, you know? <laughs> right. But, uh, you know, so many, you, you hear so many people who say, you know, my fifth grade teacher told me I couldn't carry a tune, and I haven't carried one ever since. Uh, right, right. You know, so I, I'm very sensitive about um, and very careful when I, you know, telling people what they can and cannot do because they'll believe you, you know, yes. and live the rest of their life. You speak that you know. into their lives. Mm -hmm. when, when, in fact, maybe they can, which leads me to these lovely ladies who are on the set because. You didn't just get to the to the Glee Club by osmosis. You obviously have a talent. Um, uh, uh, you sing, um, and 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 you obviously are doing what you need to do in school, or you wouldn't be enrolled. <laughs> so, um, um, and and welcome home. Thank you. Cola. Thank you. We're yes. glad always to welcome home yes. uh, one of our own. We are so glad to have you on the Aware Show. Yes, uh, thank uh, you. Glad to be here. Yeah. And uh, just as Dr. Johnson mentioned, I was born and raised in Pensacola, and I was a 10-year member of the Pensacola Children's Chorus. So that's where I developed my love for uh, music and singing as well. And so I decided when I came to Spelman that I wanted to continue the choir training that I had uh, prior to arriving at Spelman. And so the Glee Club was just the perfect fit. 
-hmm. So, and wow. I've been in, in it ever since, and I'm now the secretary of the Spelman College Glee Club. And um, it's very fulfilling, very fulfilling. Very good, <laughs> and we're glad to have you here. Um, auditions and that sort of thing, I want to talk about that from your standpoint <laughs> when they're doing it, but I also want to hear from your standpoint. When you're auditioning, you're just laughing away over here, Rajane. It must have been an experience for you. What's it like to audition and then be accepted into the Spelman College Glee Club? The audition was really... <laughs> <laughs> three years ago. You've been in for three years. Yes, ma'am. I'm a yeah. junior. This is my third year. Um, the auditions were very fun and nerve-wracking. I remember coming to the Glee Club desk table um, during the fair, when, during NSO week, which is the new story, student orientation week, and there was a man sitting there. He kind of looked intimidating. It was Dr. Johnson, none other than <laughs> Dr. Johnson. <laughs> and he said, come sit down. Let me, let me talk to you for a second. And I was like, oh, brother. Uh -oh. So I sat down, and he was like, so uh, you look like you sing. I was like, yes, I like musical theater. Like, you know, I sing. He said, okay. I see you at auditions, and I was like, auditions? Like, for the Glee Club? Like, what is this? <laughs> so he started explaining the Glee Club, and he was like, okay, just bring your sheet music and just show up tonight. And I was like, okay, like, I'm gonna go. Um, and so I went to the audition, and there was a panel of, like, adults, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is, why am I so nervous, you know? Mm -hmm. I sing all the time, but why do I get nervous now? Um, so I sang, and I'm telling you, I believe, from Dreamgirls. And that's not an easy song to sing. It's not. It's not but wow. it was the only sheet music that I had at the time, which was a bad <laughs> idea. But I, I did really well, actually. I was like, okay, breathe and just do it. So Dr. Johnson was sitting in the corner, you know, making his little faces. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm doing something right, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so I sang, and then I went, you know, after I finished that, I was like, okay, maybe I can do this. Maybe I can commit to this. Then I went to the sight reading room, which was. I thought the end all be all. I sat in there and she said, okay, what is this note? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I matched pitch as, as best as I, I could. I could do that very well. But every, you know, she gave me a piece of music and she was like, okay, sing the first line. And I was like, okay, let's, let's, sing, let's wing it. Um, but after that, uh, I've grown so much in the Glee Club as far as reading music um, and being able to perform chorally because I'm I was grown I grew up in a gospel household I sang in church I'm a church baby so Nothing you know all I that. know is the hooping and the hollering and the ad living but Glee Club has taught me so much of the fundamentals of music and it's helped me accelerate I'm a theater major okay. so I've, I've been able to use my theater skills and my choral training to the theater field um, which has also allowed me to study abroad. I said I was in the Glee Club for three years. This is only my fifth semester because last semester I was in London um, studying at the British American Drama Academy. Wonderful. Um, which was an amazing experience. I miss the Glee Club so much though. So when I came <laughs> back, I was like, ah, I'm so glad to be home. I love but, yeah. you, you all's presence. I love your Thank confidence. You. Um, and I want to get to to your yes. experience <laughs> auditioning and that sort of thing. But I must say to you ladies, I mean, you can tell that that you're sitting amongst some women who are of excellence. And you. um, then you're going to go on to some really wonderful things. And I'm proud to have you on the Aware Show. We're going to have to follow you guys and you ladies and see where you are <laughs> um, years from now. But I want to give you a chance, Nina, to tell us a little bit about your experience. Yes. Well, personally for me, um, Meeting Dr. Johnson was a unique experience in itself. Um, like um, Rajane, I was in the audition room and it was Mr. Johnson, it was Miss Boykin and Miss Graves, um, who was one of our tour managers. And they then asked me, you know, well, Nina, where are you from? Or, you know, why are you here at the Glee Club auditions? And I told them, I recently gone to a high school called Pine Forge Academy, um, which is one of the only um, historically black boarding schools. Um, that's still standing and I told them about my previous um, what would you say I said choral experience and so Dr. Johnson said well Nina what's one of the songs you guys used to sing so I told them lift every voice and sing I was like by Roland Carter correct and so he said hmm oh you you think you know this song <laughs> so I said yes he said well what do you sing I said first soprano so then they were like oh so you think you're a first soprano so, you know, with a deep breath, I was like, okay, well, you know, Nina, now that you said this, you have to, you have to come, you know, you have to come to life. So I took a deep breath and then I began to sing, you know, lift every voice and sing. So then he said, okay, skip over to God of our weary years, just as I can see, you know, your vocal control. And I remember I did it and then he looked at me like, oh, wow, maybe she is about what she said she's about. <laughs> <laughs> so um, after that, I've just been in the Glee Club and all first semester 
Dr. Johnson has been, you know, kind of picking with me like, Nina, you know, do this, you know, really be about what you say you're about because, you know, you have a talent. And um, because of that, because of the nurturing that Glee Club has given me, I actually decided to become a music minor, um, but my major is philosophy. And um, it has truly inspired me in a way where recently, um, on February 24th of this year, I created my own blog. And it is a website <coughs> that is solely about motivation, inspiration, and cultivation. It's actually called Lenore Wins, and um, Lenore Wins are my two middle names. Um, it's the compromise of my two grandmothers' names, um, Laura and Eleanor, and then Wins is um, my mother's maiden name. So. That's just, you know, a little snatch wow. out of, you know, what I'm doing. But, yes, yeah, so. Glee smart Club girl to get a... that little plug in there on the <laughs> Weird Show, too. Thank you. Very you smart. That. You, you, you drink them very yes. well. <laughs> but um, most definitely, Glee Club has been such an inspiration. Um, like we say, we are here to amaze and inspire. And definitely, not only do we do that for those we sing for, but we do it within ourselves. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And, you know, I, I do want to put you guys on the spot, and I don't want Dr. Johnson to get me after this is over, <laughs> but when you start saying, you know, the songs that you sang, you know, I'm sitting here and I'm going, gosh, when you, I hear you guys with the Glee Club, then we hear you all together, and of course, your solos, but when you're saying what you audition, it's kind of like you want to go, okay, sing it. <laughs> 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 but I can't do that, so Dr. Johnson would have to be the one who <laughs> directs that part of it. I'm just the Oreo Show host, but I am interested <laughs> in hearing what you know what you guys sound like um can can you give us a taste okay you, we'll start right there let's, okay, let's well, start in london england okay over here <laughs> okay Asian. we'll start in london england with any song anything you'd like okay i'm gonna sing amazing grace because that song just, is just, really just, just a few don't sing just, the whole thing just no a, just yeah, a little bit just a go. snapshot just, just give okay. us a little amazing grace how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Stop, stop. you <laughs> make me cry. <laughs> that is so spiritually moving. Nina? Mm -hmm. uh, um, well, let me see. Okay, the first song <laughs> that pops into my mind. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> yes, um, I guess I could say the first song that pops into my mind is Pass Me Not. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay um, Pass me not, O oh, gentle Savior, hear my humble cry. While on others thou Heart calling, do not pass. Please don't pass me by. You're not gonna pass Sing. you by. I'm gonna have to pass the basket in a minute. <laughs> I'm going to have to take up a love offer. <laughs> I, love it. I love it so much. This is so good. Okay, and now we got to come to our very oh, own, Pensacola's very own. Okay, you so do your thing, I, I am actually going to sing a Disney song. Oh, yes. 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 Okay. I love Disney. Yes. Okay. I am going to sing A Whole New World. No. A whole new world, a dazzling place I never knew. But when I'm way up there, it's crystal clear that now I'm in a whole new world with you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Right here on the Aware Show, <laughs> the Spelman College Glee Club. Club, you girls are some, you ladies are something else, really, inside out. Angelic voices. I can't sing like, there's no way. How, you know, I, you have to do the auditions and that sort of thing. What are you looking for? Obviously, a lot of talent here. What What is it that you're looking for when you're um, conducting your auditions? Well, you know, um, <laughs> say this the right way. <laughs> there are auditions. Okay. But we, ex and my assistant would come in and go, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we accept, you know, almost 90 percent of those who audition um, if you if you can't match a pitch you know if I say oh I'll sing all on you ah, we, we love you but <laughs> that would be me <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for we love you but but most of them you know don't come in reading music mm. you know in a formalized way 
<laughs> you know, somebody like Courtney who has children's choir experience or who went mm -hmm. to a boarding school in a formalized setting. Okay, uh, okay. Um, they do. But by and large, most of our singers don't come in trained like that. They may come in with a lot of church choir experience. Gotcha. And amazingly so, which I, I thought is interesting, some of them come in never having sung before. And I'm like, <laughs> what, what in the world are you? Your voice been under. All of a sudden, you want to sing at the Spelman College Glee Club? You haven't sung in choir? No, no, no. And can sing, you know. Yeah. Just haven't been cultivated, so. I had a, a pastor a few years ago, he played a uh, piano and he sang very, very beautifully. And one thing he said is when he sang coming up as a young boy under his grandfather and his father, he said that he would sing and, and it sound, you know, like the gospel music and that sort of thing. But when he went off to college, um, he said he learned to sing, you know, this way. So when he went home, he would tell his grandfather and his father, I've learned how to sing this way and here's how it sounds. And they say, yeah, but you sing that way, we sing from the heart. Mm. And so maybe the difference sometimes is you sing with your heart, you sing with, you know what I mean? Yes, in, in yes. That, and that's something you really don't really learn. While you can learn the sheet music, mm -hmm. you can't really learn the heart of it, the, 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 the actual talent of it. Now we're going to put you on the spot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yes. What can you do for us here? Yes. Well, I Dr. juggle. My sense of humor is out of control but most we, of the time. But, but yeah, we be, can, 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 can we be so graciously honored with just a few little notes yes. for you? Please. <sighs> Thank you. We can, <laughs> never, we can never get him to do it for us. <laughs> <No. laughs> here we go. I'm not really. <laughs> well, I'll take this back. When I was 27. Okay having been a church choir director as a, from age 15 through 27, decided I would go to college because I couldn't. My advancement opportunities for a job, you know, I'd reached the limit. There were pastors who knew of me and hired me, but and I got a chance to teach in Watts, California. I don't know if you know anything about Watts, California. Heard of Watts. Nickerson Gardens with the Bloods and the Crips. And I was <laughs> teaching at Verbum Day High School across the, the chain link fence from Nickerson Gardens. And they'd never had a choir there. So this priest asked me, Kevin, can you come and start a choir at Verbum Day High School? It's an all boys Catholic school in Watts, California. Okay. And so I went and started my choir. I'd been a church choir director, but I'd never taught in school. And so I guess I was 23, something like young, you know, and started this choir and those boys just loved it, you know. Mm. Taught knuckleheads, which I really <laughs> loved. <laughs> I really loved it. Yes. And they came together, they were so proud of themselves, you know. We would sing, I would teach them all types of styles. Mm. And we would sing. At one particular moment that sticks with me is when we learned a Renaissance piece, a, a, a little chant where they all sang the same thing. And we went out into the corridors because mm -hmm. the, the hallways were outside. So, you know, the classroom, you come out, you don't come out, you come out to outside. And so you're outside, Nickerson Gardens is over there. And you see some guys over there, you know, <laughs> some caribs and some blood. You know. <laughs> I guess. I wasn't going oh, over there. Oh my goodness me, you haven't done that either. But we started singing this chant and it started wafting out and throughout the corridors and the corridors was amplifying the sound and I just, in my heart I was thinking, what a blessed moment this is mm -hmm. for these young boys. Some of them think they're hard, you know, yeah. but were willing to do this thing I asked them to do, you know, because my personality, you know. I, I'm from South Central. <laughs> yeah, all right. You know, I'm not a hard guy, but, I, you know, you can't be hard with me. Mm -hmm. I can be just as hard as you can be. But <laughs> we could sing this chant together, and the sound started to waft over to, you know, the projects over there, and I thought, this is powerful, mm -hmm. this thing. I need to be doing this. So eventually, I taught for a few years, but then my opportunities, I hit the ceiling. Mm -hmm. And they have a degree. I just had talent. So at age 27, I went to college. And, um, and this all comes from you asking me to sing because this is at the heart of why, how I got an education. Um, I went to school at 27, no degree, finished at wow. 37 with a doctorate. Wow. wow. 
just straight Wonderful plowed story. straight through. Um, and I couldn't get, you know, I couldn't start my education as a conductor. Mm -hmm. I had to either be a piano player or a singer. And I was like, really? <laughs> I want to get a bachelor's <laughs> in choral <laughs> conducting. <laughs> no, that doesn't exist. Yeah, you either have to yeah. sing or you got to play. Yeah. And oh, I like to play piano. I was like, I'm not going to be here playing Bach for 15 years trying to get this bachelor's degree. Gotcha. So I was like, I'll sing. I can sing. So I proceeded to study classical singing for 10 years while I got this degree. Wow. Not because I wanted to be a classical singer, mm. but it was just, you know, it was what yeah. you had to do to get yeah. the degree. So I was, you know, I sang. But I'm really a choir director. But I'm you know, singing in church for years, okay. over 40 years in the Catholic Church. Okay. So, you know, you asked me to sing. Mm -hmm. yeah, not and all we've that, been waiting to. Ain't all that real <laughs> about singing, but I will. Because we're so creative, I just had an idea about this. Uh, and, you know, I'm, while well, I studied in a traditional sense, mm -hmm. you know, the, um, the Generation X folks like me, which I'm just right on the edge of being a baby boomer, had I been a few years older, mm. we always talk about the times they are a-changing. Okay. Mm. But, you know, the times have a-changed. <laughs> gotcha. So as an educator, <laughs> yes. times are, uh, they have already changed. Yes. So I'm all about, and, you know, we really strive at Spelman to try and figure this thing out about education for musicians, for everybody, mm -hmm. how you educate so that the students, when they graduate, can navigate. Oh, I did an Al show. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> a Jesse Jackson, too. Right. <laughs> Just all in there. That was good. Good God almighty. <laughs> I think all we're going to get is our wheel. <laughs> right. Yeah, she's beating around the yeah, exactly. <laughs> so How do they okay. navigate through this new through the way? if you will, the internet has changed everybody's lives, you know. How do we, okay. what, do, what do you teach them? I can't just teach them how to sing, because where will they work? Gotcha. They won't make any money, you know, so mm -hmm. we're trying to figure out how do we train a Rajane, you know, gotcha. so that when she graduates, she could not only, we're blessed enough to be engaged in doing what we love. Mm -hmm. We love music, mm -hmm. you know. Yes. Can you make a music, uh, a living doing music? Uh. So we say, do what you love and be creative. Because this, the times have changed. You've got to be an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. you know. Yes. You've got, you can't just be a singer, you know. Mm -hmm. I can sing, hire me, where? Gotcha. You know. All right. So we're trying to figure it out. Most colleges are trying to figure out how do you, how do you teach, you know. Mm -hmm. these, this new age of the requirement with this, these phones, everybody got a phone in their oh, hand, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. well, to do anything. So I'll give you this a few notes. Okay. Yes. Here we go. Yeah. You could tell I'm not a singer because I'm, unlike these three, don't have a song ready to go. <laughs> and those are perfect. <laughs> well, you, you didn't plan to be on audition. Oh, here. freedom. Oh, freedom, oh, freedom, this camera, over me, and before I'll be a slave, I'm going to be buried in my grave, and go home to my Lord, and be Beautiful. Yes. <laughs> I love it a lot. Oh, what a gracious, gracious uh, thing to do here on the show. Today. I know, that's why I'm saying <laughs> thank you so yeah, much. Please. And the ladies got a real treat, and we did too, here on thank the Aware Show. And we're going to come back and talk with them a little bit more. But for, for right now, let's listen to the rest of the Spelman College Glee Club here on the Aware Show. <laughs> Let it resound loud as 
Listening to the wonderful sounds of the Spelman College Glee Club, we have right here in the studio some of those women who are in the uh, uh, in the uh, choral ensemble that you just had an opportunity to listen to. We have the privilege of having Rajane, Courtney, our very own from here in Pensacola, and also the lovely Nina, and of course their conductor, uh, Dr. Johnson. We're so glad to have you all here once again. Um, I'm so excited about this because it's. It's really, uh, it really makes me feel good. I know it makes you feel good, Dr. Johnson, in our generation to be able to see this generation do so well, have so much talent, and, and that you have such bright futures ahead of you. I just kind of want to talk a little bit about your lives on campus at an HBCU, what that's like, and also what it's, what it's like in particular to be at Spelman. And we'll start with you, uh, Rachel. Sure. Okay, so coming to Spelman was a very big milestone for me. I had been, I live in Connecticut, and so I had always been around my family, and I've never been more than two or three hours away from them, no longer than a week. So coming all the way to Atlanta was just like, man, is this something that I can actually, you know, do? Um, but as soon as I stepped foot on Spelman's campus, it was sort of like a blanket of like protection, and, and I felt very secure and very comfortable to just be. And I think that was one of the biggest 
things for me in going to school was to be able to find a place like Spelman College and to be around so many beautiful melanin-filled sisters, I like to call them. Um, it was a great opportunity for me to be here. Um, and so what made that even better was the Spelman College Glee Club because I feel music for me is like a therapy and it makes me just feel at home no matter where I am. As long as music is around, I can feel some sort of comfort. So to be able to be so far away from home, but doing something that makes me feel like I'm at home is just like a plus, like a blessing to me. So um, on campus, of course, I'm a theater major, so I'm always in the fine arts building. I told Doc um, that they need to, in the new building, they need to build like beds or something because like <laughs> I literally, I could be in, Live the, there. Yeah, I'm in the practice yeah. room, like let me just knock out for like 10 minutes and then get back to what I'm doing because mm -hmm. you don't want to miss a beat. But I'm, I'm a theater major. I'm also a part of a group called Skirch, which is Sisters Keeping It Real Through Service. Okay. It's a volunteer program. Um, I'm also a part of the Spriggs Burroughs Depart Department of Drama and Dance, which is our big theater, you know, uh, club. Um, and I am a part of so many shows and productions on campus. I don't know what my life would be without theater and music. Um, mm -hmm. I also don't want to know, but uh, you probably don't want to know what it would be no, like without Spellman. Not either. at all. I gotcha. Um, Spellman is just a unique place. Mm -hmm. I never and I, and I said to myself, this is the only time in my life where I'll be able to sing with a female chorus of African American people who love to sing, who love to, you know, just inspire. And all of us, I love that our, our group is so diverse. Like we have biology majors, right. we have women's studies majors. It's not, you know, everyone's not music major, music major. Um, so it gave people a chance to escape their, you know, mm -hmm. career, so to say, and to be in such a profound group, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity for Honestly, me. Honestly, just listening to you all, I would mm -hmm. love to have sent my daughter to spell. I mean, you know, <laughs> you learn so much, you know, through through what I do about all of the different people I've had on the show and that sort of thing. But, you know, there's a sense of pride that that uh, is coming along with you all. Um, Courtney, um, we can't say it enough, we're very proud of you here in Pensacola. I can imagine that being off in Atlanta and going to Spelman um, and being a part of the Glee Club is like a sorority, a sisterhood, sense of love and that sort of thing. What, what, what's all this experience for you yes. from well, your Well, as a uh, native Pensacolian, um, <laughs> I, <laughs> I actually, um, when I came to Spelman, I knew that the Glee Club was just basically the perfect fit for me. And one of the things that I really admired about it is the fact that, like Rajane said, everybody comes from all walks of life and um, different disciplines. And that's really beautiful because everybody brings something different to the table. Um, you, me, as a political science major, I'm often, you know, so consumed in essays and, you know, writing. Uh, uh, so we're going to see you in office one day? Do you have any hopefully, political aspirations? Uh, well, actually, um, I hope to become a prosecutor. All so, right. Yes. So um, <laughs> hopefully change the criminal justice system a little bit. Um, All right. But uh, one thing I love, well, truly love about the Glee Club is the sisterhood as well. Okay. And um, I'm also a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Okay. And um, of course I have my sorors, but my Glee sisters bring something different to the table. Um, because music is a uh, very special uh, thing to me, mm -hmm. basically, uh, the, my sisters kind of um, provide that escape for me. Wonderful. That's wonderful. They've almost said everything. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Nina. <laughs> we have to stop leaving you for last because they say everything. Yes. But what about you, Nina? Well, for me personally, it goes back to, I think, maybe my 11th grade year in high school. And I remember my mom calling me in her room during the Christmas break. And it was, I think, the weekend after the Glee Club had had their um, Christmas concert. And I remember hearing the song, We Are Christmas. And I was just, from that point on, I was like, oh my goodness, I have to go to Spelman College and I have to be a part of the Glee Club because just the essence of how they were all singing and you could just feel the spirit within them. Even though I was only watching it online on YouTube, it was just like, it was an aha moment for me. And it still is an aha moment when you're in the club, 
when you first step on campus, when you're accepted, you know, into the Glee Club and you hear everyone singing and you have your sisters around you. We have this thing called a sister social in the very beginning mm -hmm. for the first years, you know, I had it this year. <laughs> and that moment was another aha moment for me because it was like, wow, I'm a part of this this new and sisterhood. And I'm just a freshman. Yes, and no, I'm just, just a freshman. <laughs> and it's so amazing because teasing. when they say, you know, we have your back, it, yeah. they truly they have really your back. It, yes. If you need, a, if I need to call Courtney in the middle of the night, she'll be like, yes, you know, whatever you need, I'm here right there for you. That's good. And that's happened so many times. So if anyone would ever decide to go to Spelman, I would say go to Spelman, of course, but then also join the join Glee the Club. Glee. <laughs> if you can see, join you can the Glee. Yeah, we, we are the, I feel like we are the real ambassadors of the school yes, because, truly. you know, music reaches places that words can't touch. And it's so a when universal people, language. Yeah, it's a it universal is. language. So yeah. no matter what we're saying, I know people are always drawn in by, you know, the music. And, and you know, that's a great way to attract people. And it always mm -hmm. gets, you know, I, I say it all the time that, we are like the face of mm -hmm. like advertising. Yeah, yeah. and it's we're, so. We're the face of the college. Yeah, yeah. but there are other choruses there too, so we don't want to be remiss by not mentioning them. Dr. Johnson, you have other choruses and that sort of. He's looking at is, me like we is do. Is there another chorus? <laughs> on we don't know. No. 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 Okay, <laughs> well, there you have it. <laughs> no, they, we have actually the jazz ensemble. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but they're just like a different. They okay. study jazz music. We're very. Um, we are very diverse in what we sing. We sing everything gotcha. from classical to spirituals. Mm -hmm. um, and we're also, we allow more people. You know, we have, yeah. we could have up to 100 people, jazz ensembles. You, you have some notable performances that you do that everybody kind of looks forward to. And I want yes. you to tell us a little bit about it and then we're going to get to uh, to the, the, the Spelman College Glee Club uh, and another performance here on the Aware Show. But tell us about those performances. And we're going to go to you this yeah. time so you won't well, be last. Um, our biggest performance in the fall is um, the Christmas Carol concert. Like Okay. I told you about and we normally do our um, Christmas Carol concert with Morehouse College's Glee Club and okay. we have our section in the very beginning and then we do a mixed section with them where um, you know individuals in our choir and in their choir audition to be a part of this mixed chorale and even that experience in itself is amazing and mm -hmm. I had the opportunity to be a part of it as a freshman and then in the spring we have our spring tour which again you must you know audition for but it's also just an amazing experience being able to go out there and talk to everybody and just amaze and inspire ultimately okay okay very good um, yeah, it's yeah. not it's not a it's not a lie and I don't know if it was just recent I mean I've been there 17 years it's odd to say I don't know if just recently I began to believe that it's not hoopla because when we're in rehearsal and we have visitors come who were in the Spelman College Glee Club and it's their lawyers and their doctors and they're singing at the Metropolitan Opera mm -hmm. I'm like this is not this is real and where in the world can young African-American women see mm -hmm. that these things are possible where else in the world oh, yeah. can they see this and were they in the glee club just like me? <laughs> yes. yes, yes. And they have law firms, and yes. and they're they're just it's amazing. So many doctors. So you get to see the alumni go on from from not just Spelman but from the glee club to go and to do some and wonderful I, things. And, and I remember them when they're in the glee club, and I always tell them, get it together because mm -hmm. when you come back, you're always the same person. Mm -hmm. Very true. You know. These personalities do not change, and it's funny sometimes, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they laugh because they're like, "It's true." You know? <laughs> yeah. She's still was crazy, right. and she was right there. But another program that um, we also do throughout uh, the semester, well, throughout the fall and spring semesters, is a day in your life, okay. and um, this is a program that is. Uh, thrown by Spellman and it is an opportunity for um, high school students to come and see a day in the life of a Spellman College student. And the Glee Club always performs uh, A Choice to Change the World, which yeah. I would say is our signature song, which was <laughs> written by one of our uh, Glee Club alum, Ms. Sarah Stevens, and also um, Dr. Kevin Johnson. <laughs> and uh, we, that event basically, uh, is kind of like a symbol of you know mm -hmm. what the Glee Club is about basically and it gives high school students a first-hand look at us you know um, and it's it's interesting because we're the only organization on Spelman's College campus that you know they get to yeah. see. Mm -hmm. I know I met a lot of people that said you know 
I was I didn't know if I wanted to go to Spelman or I didn't know how I felt about it, but once I went to a day in a life and I saw you guys sing, I was sold. I wanted <laughs> I to gotta go. Be there. I just gotta be there, yes. <laughs> We're glad to have the three of you young ladies here to represent the uh, Spelman College Glee Club. But again, here on the Aware Show, we want to also hear from the entire group. Yes. So let's just go ahead and take a look and a listen.
So now when you hear that you want and you know you can sing, you want to be in the Spelman College uh, Glee Club, what would you say, Dr. Johnson, the conductor of this beautiful choral group, what would you say to a person who is saying, I want to be, I want to sing for Spelman? I would say as a person who attended a majority institution and was one of two black singers in their choir, Mm -hmm. even through my doctoral program, I would say come to Spelman because Spelman is built for you. Mm, very good. Spelman has everything for you. Okay. You want to leave with the ladies here on their notes as well, Nina? I would definitely say go to Spelman College because it nurtures you and it cultivates you to be um, a wonderful and prepared African American woman in today's society. Love it or not, right. raise, raise your name. Um, I would echo Dr. Johnson um, coming from a predominantly um, Caucasian institution coming to Spelman is what I needed to do and it's and I would say go there because they cater to you and it's designed for you as I like to tell people so just do it. <laughs> well, a lot in our very own Courtney. Spelman College is the number one HBCU in the country. <laughs> Enough said. Enough said. <laughs> there you have it. You guys, you say that, but you've had the First Lady Michelle Obama. Yes. You've also had media mogul Oprah Win Winfrey come to your school and do your uh, commencement exercises and speak to your your um, the, the women there. So obviously what you're doing, it's brought on a lot of attention from a lot of very important people who think what's going on there is very important for Africa. African American women, what would you have to say about this? I would all say this? it's not hype, it's real. Mm -hmm. And it's really important for uh, our culture and our world. Mm -hmm. um, 
I love it because Sarah Stevens, who composed The Choice to Change the World, and We Are Christmas that you've mentioned. <laughs> we, we have two pieces, and we've sung them ever since they were composed. Uh, Sarah Stevens' class of, I believe, 2007. Seven. Uh, beautiful, beautiful spirit. Um, she wrote this text that summed up uh, the, the, the mission of the college. And I want to, before we close, just have Rajane, who we're probably going to hear sing this again, but just to give us the second verse of that tune. Sure. Within this institution, we are women of change. The shoulders that we stand upon never received applause or fame. So in their honor, I will live each day better than before. To show the world how it takes a choice to change yourself to so much more. I love we'll it a lot. We'll we'll okay. So I love it's it a your lot. choice, right? The choice yes. should be the Ten Spellman. You think? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. that is the well, choice. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got to give all this to Spellman. We got Pensacola State College here, too, for you. Of course. And here's proof of uh, Pensacola at its finest at Spellman. Absolutely. <laughs> and I love it a lot, as Oprah Winfrey said when she heard that song. I love it a lot, too. I'm not Oprah, but uh, hey, you know what? I'm sharp. <laughs> I want to thank you for being you and having us yes, here. Because here is another opportunity, and I'm getting emotional, for our young ladies to see success. So thank you. Thank you. Good I'm it. Thank, thank you, you so God. <laughs> <laughs> thank you all. Thank you, thank thank you thank ladies. You so God bless you. I wish you the very best. God bless you all. You. Keep doing what you do. Another yes. 17 more years. All right. God yes. bless you. Yes. All right. That's all the time we have for now. We certainly hope you enjoyed this extraordinary showcase highlighting the Spelman College Glee Club. We leave you now with the magnificent voices of the Spelman College Glee Club. And until next time, I'm Dee Dee Sharp saying stay informed and stay aware.